Good day and a very warm welcome to this special virtual celebration hosted by the University of Cape Town. We are honoring the graduates who completed their respective study programs in 2020. This event has been pre-recorded and it will be available for viewing on UCT's YouTube channel, on the UCT graduation webpage, and on UCT platforms in LinkedIn and Facebook. Graduation is one of the most important events in any university's year. It marks the accomplishment of years of hard work, often under very difficult circumstances. It is a celebration of the sacrifices made by every student, as well as their families and other supporters. Before the pandemic, you would have received your graduation certificate in a capping and hooding ceremony in the Sarah Bartman Hall. But as we all know, we need to take the responsible and necessary precautions in the fight against the spread of COVID-19. This means that for now, for your safety and that of your loved ones, UCT cannot host large gatherings such as graduation events. Instead, we have made special arrangements to confer degrees and award diplomas in absentia. Today's celebration commemorates your achievement and the joy that goes with it. You have crossed an important threshold in your life's journey, and we join you and your loved ones, wherever you are, in celebrating your accomplishment. As graduates of our esteemed institution, you represent the standard of excellence for which UCT is well known. The educational path you have traveled at UCT is only the start of your life's journey. We are proud of you and have great expectations of you as you proceed to become leaders of your future in your chosen professions and the various walks of life. To begin our ceremony, the UCT Chancellor, Dr. Precious Maloy Motsepi, will constitute the congregation. This will be followed by the South African National Anthem performed by the Cape Town Youth Choir, where after the President of the Student Representative Council, Mr. Declan Dyer, will read the university dedication. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I constitute this virtual assembly a congregation of the University of Cape Town.
Hello, my name is Declan Dyer, the President of the Students' Representative Council, and I will be reading the University Dedication. At this time of celebration, we, the members of the University of Cape Town, reaffirm our mission to nurture rational and creative thought and free inquiry, to strive for excellence in teaching and research, to educate for life, and to address the challenges of our society. We undertake to advance these ideals in a spirit of freedom and responsibility and through consultation and debate. We celebrate our predecessors, those who have built the fabric and nourished the values of UCT. To those of you who will graduate today, we wish courage, wisdom and purpose. To those of you who will leave the university to learn and work elsewhere, may you be sustained by those values which unite us here today and advance them in the world beyond. A love of truth and of learning and of thus our university. Dear graduates and parents, I wish to join you in celebrating the completion of your degrees under very challenging circumstances. Just like any other first year entering student or a student progressing to higher degrees, the road ahead is not all that clear, but the dream of becoming something in life lives on. Today, the dream has been realized as you join a long list of UCT science students who have walked this journey and are today well known in their fields. Many of them have made a mark in science. Your alumni in the science faculty include two Nobel Prize winners. You are part of the science community that has the responsibility to bring change to your communities, your countries, and the world. 
These challenges are in our face every day, and we must face them. We look forward to writing and reading about your contribution to society and to your great achievements in your fields. Congratulations and best wishes for a bright future. As children, we dreamed of what we could be. It was a hopscotch of anything being possible. And seeing our future selves was as easy as tossing a stone and skipping from block to block. Being a doctor was an electrical cord turned stethoscope. A toy gavel gave us the authority to judge the world without objection. We transformed into Oprah in front of the mirror, where deodorant bottle is a microphone. In candlelight and choreographed dance steps, a music video we filmed inside our heads. A lifetime of pretending, where a brick is a car. Plastic bags are soccer balls and swings are airplanes. Tennis balls double up into cricket balls. Stones and sticks are stumps, a merry-go-round of imagination. It was dizzying to believe in ourselves. But no one could tell us otherwise. Even then, we imagined a dream to be formless clay. And we were potters, giving it shape under the press of our palms and our fingertips. There's a kind of magic to transforming the nebulous into the material. How clay becomes a bowl or a teapot. How a dream can become a living. Trusting the fire not to digest what is in the belly of the kiln. The potter fashions the body of the teapot. The spout, the handle, the lid. Imagines the heat of the water it will hold and the leaves that will brew and bleed color. But the potter does not know who will come for tea. Whether this teapot will serve every day or only grace special occasions or whether it will hold tea at all or simply perch on a windowsill and harvest light like other pieces of art. Today, you are a dream emerging from the fire, glazed and heated with new knowledge. You may not yet know what you will become, or whether your diploma or degree will make some meaning in the world. You were once formless hope hidden in clay. And here you are, taking shape finding a place in a world that does not seem to have enough for you to show up as a dream. So quench the world with water until it yields under your palms, until the clay bleeds between your fingers. Hollow it out to make space for you and everything you will pour out for us. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I admit to the degrees specified and grant the diplomas and certificates specified to the candidates recorded within this virtual graduation ceremony.
we celebrate the 667 graduates in the Faculty of Science and our 33 PhD graduates. We honor the hard work, discipline, and passion you each brought to your time here, including what you have accomplished during lockdown, working under conditions that were unthinkable before COVID-19. Your perseverance brought you here today. We also celebrate what lies ahead because your education is so important, not only for yourself, but also for South Africa and the world. I hope you leave UCT with the commitment to make your education count for others as well as yourself. Thanks to digital technology, we are all global citizens. As much as I would prefer to be standing before you in Sarabartman Hall, I look on this virtual ceremony as an opportunity to think about your reach into the world. In the past, when change came into Africa, it was brought by a colonial power. Today, we have the opportunity and the responsibility not only to initiate our own changes, but also to help change the world. In fact, the world needs our point of view because the old ways of thinking have not stopped it from becoming what it is today. Those of you who are graduating with a PhD have spent years building a perspective on your topic that no one else has achieved. I wish we had time to read out all the thesis titles because they give us a vivid picture of the many different ways these doctors of philosophy are contributing to African-based knowledge. Here are a few samples. Using language similarities in retrieval for resource scarce languages, a study of several Southern Bantu languages. Biodiversity patterns in False Bay, an assessment using underwater cameras. The effect of altered rainfall seasonality on post fire recovery of Feinbos and Renastofeld shrublands in the Cape Floristic region. A new connectivity strategy for wireless mesh networks using dynamic spectrum access. Dynamics of core behavior of climate processes over Southern Africa. A probabilistic approach to a classical result of all. Every PhD graduate is proof of UCT's mission to be the best for this continent in research that makes a difference in people's lives. Thank you for keeping the African light shining bright. All you graduates have been through two recent crises with us. The first is the global pandemic. The second is the UCT fire on April 18th. On top of those shared experiences, each of you has endured personal trials, mishaps, and perhaps even griefs as students because that is part of life. This means that you have grown at UCT. In achieving your degree, you have demonstrated your strength. After the glow of graduation has worn off a bit, I invite you to think over not just the triumphs, but also the hurdles and mistakes you experienced in your studies. The world needs those life lessons just as much as it needs your educated knowledge. It needs to see your example of courage and growth through hard times. The UCT community also wants to know your story. So please use the hashtag UCTGrad2021 to send us your photographs and news. Tell us how you and your family are celebrating and what you plan for the future. Chancellor, I call on you to dissolve the congregation. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Graduates, I thank you also on behalf of UCT and South Africa for putting in the hard work to end this rite of passage. As you begin different journeys, 
and as you find your feet amidst challenges facing the world, you are also called upon to become the leaders who will make a difference. The search for knowledge and worldly experiences does not end here. Seek out mentors who will guide you and become that mentor to others. Seek out opportunities that will empower you and create opportunities to empower others. South Africa, Africa and the rest of the world needs the fresh approaches, the independent thought and the burning desire to see change that is abundant amongst yourselves. According to Martin Luther King, we must accept finite disappointments, but never lose infinite hope. Regardless of your dreams, if you are led by integrity, your hope must be steadfast in driving your dreams for the long haul. COVID-19 may have stolen your graduation ceremony, but it cannot take away your education. Congratulations on all that you have already achieved and my well wishes for all that you will achieve going forward. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I hereby dissolve this virtual congregation of the University of Cape Town.